with that. You could have cooked while I was flirting. You're flirting with my you? husband. Am I going to help you? <laughs> <laughs> He loves do, it when we yes, fight over no, Oh my god, girls, girls, I'm not coming here again, <laughs> girls, girls, you know how it is. Okay, so I'm going to dish up. So how is this? Is it light? Is it zesty? Is it delicious? I'll tell you what, it's quite zesty <laughs> and lemony and, and that flavour of what are these called? Cardamom. Cardamom, cardamom. On, on. And you're right, that potato mm. salad, it's creamy, but it's not too rich. No, then. no, no. She transgresses the boundaries. And east, don't flirt. East, and don't flirt. While you cook, do not flirt, guys, please. Yeah, you know, we'll do this later. Wrong. Ten Good minutes at the back, yeah? Sylvain of Rome. <laughs> and in 2009, her enthusiasm was rewarded by the Saki Association of Japan, who made her an official ambassador for their beloved drink. Dig the hair. Dig the hair. Yeah, exactly. There Dig you go. Dig the one. suntan. Yeah, exactly. Hello. What are we making? Are we colorblind? Anyway, what are we making? Okay, octopus. Now, octopus, it's a beautiful, beautiful beast, but people don't know Doesn't how to look it. Doesn't look it, though, does it really? Oh, come on, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Look, it's got eight legged little friend. Boom, 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 you know? <laughs> so, basically, it's so yeah. beautiful and it's so tender when it's done properly. So what I'm going to show you is actually the method, the way to actually prepare it any yeah. way you want it after that. So, right. uh, I always go for frozen one. If it's fresh even, then freeze it because it tenderizes it. Right, so Sometimes if you get the fresh ones, I've seen it where they actually dry it out, don't they? And they, they leave it yeah. to air dry, I which mean, tenderizes it as well. They have a sack here. Now, because this is frozen, the sack is already cleaned, it's removed. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just get the ice, get rid of the ice here. And we throw this bit away. The other thing that we all want to get rid of is the big here. We just yeah. pop it out, off it comes. And then what I'm going to do now is actually give it a little bit of a beating, which would be right up your street there, Jamie. Come yeah. well, you go, you go, girl, yeah. you pack it. And the reason we do help? that, they had to do something a little bit more up close and personal, something like this. No, she did not. She did not put that raw duck in her mouth. He actually showed different techniques. He didn't just slice the duck breast. He didn't just chuck some fried skin there. He basically created amazing textures. Don't forget also, he gave me the brains. I could have eaten the brains of 50 of those ducks. Wow. Do you think it's acceptable for Chris to have used a pot in his cock and tries? No king would have accepted using props as part of the meal. I think it's interesting the fact that that pot was part of his presentation. Easy way out, I'm afraid. But we wouldn't have gotten that soup, right? How would he have served that the soup? The soup was a mistake, a very lucky mistake. Tonight on My Kitchen, award-winning cookery writer Sylvana Rowe is recreating the flavors of her childhood in Eastern Europe. This really smells like the Grand Bazaars in Istanbul. The alluring, the oriental smells are all in here. It's like flying on the magic carpet over Istanbul somewhere, you know? This is very special. It's in season now, and you can see it's a purple garlic, very pungent, very milky, very velvety, very soothing, very smooth, and terribly good for you. Other people will have a piece of cheese with their bread, I will let garlic grow, and then for three, four days, I'm no good to no one, basically. Don't talk to me. You're going to have the stuffed chicken, the bone stuffed chicken with apricots and fresh herbs, smashed cucumber with pistachios and pomegranate, and delectable, velvety, voluptuous tiramisu with white chocolate shavings. Next time on My Kitchen, Sylvana reveals recipes from her Turkish forefathers. My father used to tell me that this recipe was done by his grandfather, by his father. It's just so delectable, it's so princely. And she shakes up the traditional British Sunday roast. This is the best of British because this is the best of British lamb with a little bit of exoticness, a little bit of orientalism that I bring to it. Pooled roast lamb cooked with a spicy Middle Eastern orange marinade. Rice pilaf with berries, apricots and pistachios and lettuce hearts with a creamy yogurt feta and cumin dressing.